My name is Victoria Guggenheim and the reason I'm doing this body paint today is an act of solidarity with the Council of Ex-Muslims of Britain. The penalty for apostasy is death and no one deserves to be killed simply for not believing in a God. It's important that we have to stand together with them because without them they're not protected. This is part of their freedom. This is part of their human rights because freedom is fragile and it must be protected. And I am proud to be an activist, atheist body painter standing up for the rights of others who are scared to have a voice. I'm Mariam Namazi. We're here to celebrate apostasy and blasphemy and defend the rights of all of those who are being killed and imprisoned and persecuted for leaving Islam and rejecting Islam. We feel we should be able to do that and we need to do it, especially for those who aren't able to. One of the things that the Islamist movement hates more than anything is just free people. Uh, especially they hate women's bodies, they, they love it to be covered up and they hate apostates or anyone who questions or criticizes. That's why it's punishable by death in 13 countries and it's a prosecutable offense and so many more. And so we feel that this is a way of both challenging the Islamist movement, saying that we are free people and we will live and think and love as we choose. Hi, I am Zehra Pala, I'm coming from Turkey. I am militant atheist uh, and I'm ex-Muslim as well. In a Muslim country and in some of men's mind, when you do show your body, they're always thinking about the sexual things. So I'm here for to use my body today for to protest. As a woman, we can choose how to use our body. If I want to use my body with the sexual way, yes, I will. If I want to use my body for the protest, yes, I will. Okay guys, this is what's happening. So if you think this is here.